Hey guys, it's Q the Man three four five six here. I really wish I chose a shorter username. For um next game I'm going to LP depending on Well I've already recorded um Half Life. I'm waiting to upload that until two weeks before Black Mesa comes out. <laughs> by the way I'm talking, presumably you well, by the way I'm referring to it, you can assume that I'm under the impression that won't be for a while, so time to do this. So we are going to do Opposing Force, because Opposing Force is great. And just like with Half-Life, going to do the training room and play through it on medium. So let's get started. Ooh, boot camp. Rise and shine, ladies! My name is Senior Drill Instructor Dwight T. Barnes. The first and last words I want to hear out of your stinking holes is, Sir, do I make myself clear? Nope. Sir, yes, sir! My goal is simple. As of right now, you are all maggots. You will not speak until spoken to. You will not sleep unless told to do so. When I ask you to jump, you will reply with, How high? Do you get me? Sir, yes, sir! What's your name, dirtbag? Sound off like you got a pair! Corporal Shepard, huh? Yep. Looks more like Corporal Dog Meat to me! Seems your name was mysteriously bumped to the top of the advanced training list! <laughs> mysteriously. My suggestion to you is to get your ass down to the training center and report to Drill Instructor Sharp ASAP! Now move it, Corporal! Okay. Yes, the uh, protagonist of Half-Life Opposing Force is Corporal Adrian Shepard. The um, reason for the name Opposing Force is, as you may have guessed, you play as a um, soldier. You eyeballing me, boy? <laughs> <laughs> that was quite unexpected. Oh yes, also... Hey look, it's our friend, the G-Man. Whether Opposing Force is canon or not, that's really up in the air. Um, opposing Force as well as the two other Half-Life expansion packs were made by Gearbox as opposed to Valve, so... I'd kind of go with unless Valve overrides them there, Canon, but that's really up to you. So... Open the door. Hi. Alright, maggot, listen up! I don't care what your previous outfit was like, but around here we do things my way! Follow my instructions carefully, and by the end of the day, I'll have you eating danger and crapping victory! Now move your butt, soldier! I will meet you on the other side, in the armory! Okay. Sure. Thank you. Mounted on the wall below me, you will see a PCV! This is a powered combat vest! Use it correctly and I guarantee it will save your life! Your PCV is able to recharge with battery power, or it can interface and recharge with commercial, military, and HEV charging stations! What are you waiting for? Grab that PCV and get it fully charged! Trust me, maggot, you're gonna need it! I'll meet you in the next area to demonstrate some of your best capabilities! This is literally the military version of the HEV suit. Um. It isn't anywhere near as vocal as the HEV suit. In fact, I don't think it says anything like the HEV suit does, so you need to keep an eye on like the power and stuff on your own. But it pretty much fun functions for the same purpose, except instead of a flashlight, you have night vision. It lags the game like hell. The best that your military has provided you with will keep you alive. Step over to the morgue and this will be demonstrated for you. Is it legal for them to just up and shoot me like that, even to demonstrate this thing? You're gonna have to pick up the pace, dirtbag! My beloved core does not have the patience to wait around for your worthless butt! The following areas will simulate many of the environmental hazards you are likely to encounter in the field. Run through it as quickly as you can, and try to avoid taking too much damage. 
A dead Marine is a worthless Marine! I will see you up ahead if you can make it through alive! If. <laughs> That's reassuring. Oh, I have to prompt it to open, okay. Well, this is pretty much the same as that one part in the um, hazard course. Just like in the hazard course, I question if this is really legal, so... Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> on your best soldiers did that sting a little well yep. suck it up and drive on fine I'm not through with you yet proceed through that door into the small staging room and await my instructions in addition to providing protection your pcv has other capabilities once the light goes out the door in front of you will open activate your night vision goggles to navigate this maze and exit on the other side now move like you've got a purpose Yeah, night vision. Oh, it doesn't make it lag as badly as it did before. And yeah, you literally just can't see anything with it all, so... Well, I'll be damned! You may just have what it takes to be a soldier! Now double time it over to the next portion of your training! Ooh. Move it! Move it! All right, Mike, let's see if you can move your butt through my obstacle course. On your mark, get set, go, go, go! Run up and over those platforms! Move, move, move! Duck, now jump! Get your sorry ass moving! Get your ass down that hill! Scale that wall! Hurry it up! My dear sweet grandmother moves faster than you, dirtbag! Get over that beam! I thought we were training soldiers here! Are you trying to embarrass me? Proceed to the next area! Come on, double time it! Move, move, move! Let's see if you can climb faster than you can run! Ready? Yes, ropes. You can actually climb up these, though. Their physics are very, very, um... fiddly at times. Oh, now that I'm trying to show off how screwy they can be, they won't screw up. Very good! Maybe there's hope for you yet! Now, you wanna come up here and try to knock me off? Hi. You can definitely climb better than you can run! Now let's see if you can use these ropes for more than just jump! Catch that rope and use your momentum to swing across that water! Yep, you can actually do this. This might take more coordination than you have, soldier! I want you to swing from rope to rope and meet me at the end of the course! Hurg it off! What is your problem, soldier? Get back up and try it again! Come on! What is your problem, soldier? Shut Get up. Get back up and try it again! Yeah, these... What is your problem, soldier? Get back up and try it again! Shut up! What is your problem, oh, come soldier? On. Get back up and try it again! This is gonna take the better part of the afternoon. <laughs> okay, come on. Hergit? Yes! Sheesh. I'm almost impressed, soldier! Meet me in the next section, and let's see if I can shake you up a bit. That's reassuring. You better move like you got a purpose! Okay, soldier, this is a live fire exercise! This one will give you a taste of what it's like to be in the field. Keep your head low and move between cover. I want to see your face in the dirt, soldier! Okay. Go, go, go! Climb that rope ladder! Get your ass up there! Hit the dirt, soldier! Move it, move it, move it! Yes, you want to stay crouched to this whole part here.
I got it the first time. You actually managed to make it through my favorite training exercise in one piece. Very good, soldier. Move on for your next phase of training. He tells me that after I go inside. Ooh. Here we are. Your weapon is your best friend. It is your only friend. And to be more effective, soldier, you must master your weapon. On the table, you will see your standard issue sidearm. Pick it up and step over to the pistol range. The object of this exercise Shut is up. to familiarize yourself with the functions and use of your weapon. Yep. Uh the goal is for you to place six shots within the inner circle of each target. You may begin. Here we see the um. In it, one of the in it, yeah the initial sidearm of opposing force. It is a Desert Eagle. It it replaces the revolver from Half Life basically. Um, the accuracy leaves a bit to be desired sometimes, but secondary fire turns on a laser sight that greatly improves it. At the cost of um firing a bit slower, but it still fires faster than the uh, revolver did in Half Life. Proceed to the next section of the training course. It's pretty badass. Sniper range, ooh. This exercise will How do you get over in the use of a long range sniper rifle. Proceed to the table, pick up the sniper rifle, and position yourself on the firing line. In this exercise, you will be firing at targets both moving and stationary at medium, long, and extreme ranges. As you will notice, your sniper rifle comes equipped with a scope. Use this I should scope hope to so. magnify your view, making the distant targets easier to see. In the distance, you will notice three stationary targets partially concealed. Hit oh. each of these targets to advance to the next stage of targets. Good! Now let's see how you do with simple moving targets at that range, soldier. Yeah, this is just your basic sniper rifle type thing. Basically replaces the um, crossbow. Now let's see if you can hit the moving targets at long range. Make sure to take your time and light up those shots, soldier. Aw, oh, damn. Make sure to take careful aim, soldier. Patience is key for those crucial shots. That last one's hiding. Not bad, not bad at all, soldier. Now let's see if you can do the same at extreme range. Yeah, probably. Unbelievable! You can actually shoot! I'd actually consider letting you cover my ass in a firefight! I'm finished with you, soldier! Proceed to the next area and report to the next drill instructor! Ooh, All right, squad dirt bag, you've proven yourself a capable grunt. Now let's see if there's any leadership qualities in that sorry carcass of yours. No, to not me. To become an effective leader, you must familiarize yourself with the skill set of each soldier in your platoon. The first type of soldier you will meet is the engineer. Engineers have a knack for getting you in and out of places that are otherwise inaccessible. Do they solve problems? Have him follow you to the sealed door. Yes, sir! If he's an engineer, does that mean he solves problems? Affirmative, sir! Yep, follow me. Yes, sir! Thank you. Stand back, Corporal. This should only take a minute. He doesn't seem to be solving the same type of problems that I thought he would, okay. I was expecting him to build a sentry and stuff.
I have to start spy checking. As you can see, this soldier may prove quite useful in the field. Once you've breached the room, proceed through the door and meet the next type of soldier. Hello. Keeping you in one piece is quite a challenge. Yeah, it's a medic. The medic can be one of the most valued soldiers on the field. They have the ability to heal both you and your fellow squad members. To receive medical attention, simply hold down your use key and the medic will apply first aid. Once the medic has attended to your wounds, proceed to the next area to complete your training. Why is he like reference posing? Yes, sir! Affirmative, sir! Listen up, soldier! During the course of your missions, you may not be in direct contact with your squad. In these situations, you will need to utilize any available military radios. These radios can be used to call in reinforcements or gain vital military intelligence. Approach the radio and use it, soldier! I hear you loud and clear. We'll move to your position. And here in Half-Life, you have to destroy these things. Congratulations, well, didn't have soldier! To, but... You're no longer a low-life maggot! I'm proud to say you are a soldier! I'm sure you'll be a credit to your unit! Now report to duty, soldier! Success! <clears throat> Alright, well, that's the training course. Let's get started on opposing force itself. Guest, you play as part of the cleanup operation. Yeah. But we never got our orders, so you know, no big deal. I just wanted to talk to him, and then things exploded. Am I dead? Oh, someone saved me. Welcome to Black Mesa. Three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five.
Oh, you've woken up. Corporal Shepard, is it? I've yep. read the tag on your uniform. Uh, I'm glad to see my life-saving efforts weren't in vain. I can't say the same for him. I'm afraid you have been through a serious accident. Most of your friends didn't make it. Aww. I was hoping that you soldiers had come to rescue us, but now it seems we are all in the same situation. I think I saw a radio near the crash site where I found you. Perhaps you can go there and radio for help? Sure. I don't even know what we were in for. Good grief. At this point, I haven't got my orders, so I don't know I'm supposed to kill everyone, so I'll just do what I want. Well, I'll probably do what I want anyways. Crab creatures have a unique parasitic strategy, don't you think? I'm not a scientist. Have you ever seen such a magnificent species? Not the These word I would have used. Crabs can completely control their host's nervous system. Can you imagine what the next stage of mutation looks like? No, and I'd really rather not. Great, well, enough dawdling. We have the uh, PCV, so let's go. I think I got a right one. 